Hello dear students I am your educator Burhanuddin and it's time to cram So hello student this is the fifth video lecture of chapter 12 electricity class 10 and in this video lecture we are going to learn about electric circuit or circuit diagram so these are the topics which i had already covered in my previous video lectures to watch it click the i button so electric circuit you had already learned in your previous classes and you also already learned about the components of electric circuit in your previous classes and you might be aware of this topic but today just we are going to recall that topic once again so circuit diagram is basically the schematic view or schematic design of the circuit which we are going to build here to represent the components in our circuit in circuit diagram we make use of symbols instead of the things which we are going to use in the circuit so let's see what symbols we make use to represent electrical components we know that an electric circuit as shown in figure here you can see comprises a cell or a battery a plug key and electric components like bulbs emitter and connecting wire which you can see here the conductor with which we used to connect electrical components it is often convenient to draw a schematic diagram in which different components of a circuit are represented by the symbols conveniently used conventional symbol used to represent some of the most commonly used electrical components are given below now we are going to study that which component i am talking here you can see that uh, the this bulb this emitter this key the symbols of this component we are going to study now so let's see one by one first an electrical cell so here we can denote our electrical cell like this or if i talk about battery then battery is a combination of more than one cell so we can symbolize it like this or we can also symbolize it at like this also okay this is also a symbol for battery you can use any of the symbol to symbolize a battery then plug key or switch so we can use two types of symbol to symbolize the switch one as shown here like this and another and another like this we can use uh, any of the symbol for it so for the open key we can either use this symbol or we can use this symbol and for a key in closed condition we have to do make a dot in between this bracket which symbolizes that the key is on or circuit is closed and if you want to symbolize it like this so we have to make some sort of symbol like this now if i talk about the wire joint so in a uh, in many circuit we will join multiple wire together then we have to symbolize it as wire joint in this symbol and if two wires are crossing each other without joining uh, assume like this this is one wire and this is another wire but and these both wires are crossing but are not connected so we will symbolize it as like this this represent that these both wires are crossing each other not connected with each other if i talk about electric bulb we we often used in our electric circuit so electric bulb is either symbolized in this manner or in this manner as you can see in this figure also the electric bulb is symbolized in this manner which represent that there is electric bulb connected in the circuit so this is the symbol of resistance which you are going to learn after ohm's law in that video i will teach you that what is resistance what is the purpose of resistance how we can connect resistance in a circuit okay so stay tuned for that and this is the symbol we symbolize resistor in such a manner if i talk about variable resistance or rheostats so 
so we symbolize it in this in such a manner like this that we just have to put a arrow in the symbol of the resistance which symbolize is as a real estate real estate is a variable resistance means uh, the resi you can uh, find a particular value resistor okay in the market but use but real estate is a device in which uh, we can vary resistance by scrolling the bar we can vary resistance in real estate or you can also symbolize it as like this now if i talk about emitter yeah what is the use of emitter correct emitter is used to measure the current yeah you can see here we had connected emitter in a series connection we always have to connect emitter in a series to measure the current and we symbolize emitter in this way yes in previous video i told you about voltmeter that what is voltmeter and what is the purpose yes right voltmeter is used to measure the potential difference between two ends of the conductor and it is symbolized in this way and yes it is connected in a parallel connection okay so in next video we are going to learn about ohm's law so stay tuned for next video notes are uploaded on the blogger's page of time to cram so visit the blogger's page to download the notes and the link of the bloggers is given in the description box so check the description box get the link and download the notes and if you find this video helpful and informative then like it and do share it with your friends and classmates and yet you had not subscribed to our channel time to cram then subscribe it and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get latest notification and update when new video is uploaded that's all for today's video lecture thank you